Hi. Um, the question is often asked, what's the difference between quality classes of diamond? What makes a, a diamond blade cut more efficiently than another? We're going to have a look at three important uh, components of a diamond cutting wheel. The first is the diamond itself, the quality of the diamonds that are used within the wheels. The second part is the connection system, how we attach this to the steel core. And third, and a, a very important part, is the steel core itself and the influences that the core has on the quality of the diamond wheel. OK, let's have a look at diamond itself. There's two, two forms. You've got natural diamond produced by nature or there's synthetically made diamonds. Within cutting tools for uh, construction and working on concrete and asphalt and such things, it's synthetic diamonds that we choose. The reason for this is a natural diamond is very inconsistent in its makeup, whereas a synthetic made, you can clone the properties time after time. The diamond itself, we can change the purity of the diamond, so it goes from a brown to a very bright yellow, so the purest form is bright yellow. In addition to the um, diamond purity, we can do further enhancements by coating the diamond with titanium and each particle of diamond coated with titanium gives a much stronger bond in the metal matrix. OK, we'll have a look at these under the microscope and you can see the shape of each diamond particle. I'll change this over so that we can now see a coated titanium version. OK, so the next most integral part of the, the wheel is the steel core. And there's a huge difference in qualities of, of steel cores um, regarding the thickness and also the design. This example here has built-in cooling holes. We can change many things on the design. The, the width of the gullet, make it very close or very wide. Um, we'll look at these properties uh, another time. So let's have a look at the core thickness and what influence this plays. So this example is a uh, like an economy type wheel, 1.2 millimetre in thickness for the core, which is okay for very light work, but any sort of um, endurance, then this will soon generate a lot of heat and become destroyed. If you look here, it was 1.5 millimetre. This is now going to give much better life and withstand the heat that goes into the um, wheel in the application. So the quality of the core on thickness alone has a huge influence, but there's many other things we can do to the core in the design structure. OK, the next part, we're going to have a look at the connection system or the connection types for the diamond segments and sintered wheels. These cores here are typical. This particular one is for a sintered um, diamond where the diamond is bonded onto the core, onto the sides of the, the core. And this is typical of a um, steel core for laser welded segments. Now, it's very easy to see the difference. I have two diamond qualities here, one with a, a laser welded core and one with a sintered bonded core. So that the diamond itself is actually bonded to the steel core. And if we look into here, all the way through from the top right down to the bottom of the foot here, we can see presence of diamond. If we look at the laser welded segment all the way down, we then have a, a small area down on the bottom, which is just a metallic part of the segment. This is to allow really good bonding or welding between the segment itself and the core. And this type will put up with a lot more duress compared to a sintered version. OK, so to summarise, we've looked at three um, important components to a diamond wheel. One is the diamond itself and the quality of the um, pure yellow diamonds used within in the segments. And then we, we've looked at the core itself and the, the importance of the thickness of the core for, for heavy duty work, for the longevity of the diamond product. This is an essential component. And um, we've looked also the fastening mechanism, how we attach the diamonds to the core. So two different types of method. One is the sintered, bonded, where it's bonded onto the steel core. And then we've looked at the laser welded method. And 
the scented version is okay for light duties, but anything in a professional environment uh, where we require long lifetime and high feed speeds, then the laser welded segment is by far the most secure method of attaching the uh, diamond segment to the steel core. So until next time, thank you.